Hi guys. It is just a yuck, nasty, depressing, gray blah. Well, I guess we hit the 32 degree mark. All right, we're up to a balmy 32 degrees here. It is Tuesday. Now Tuesday afternoon, January 10th, 2023, somewhere along around there. So uh, here I am uh, counting down my last eight days in hell. Wondering, <laughs> yeah, trying to see the humor in uh, being up here fucking New York. I, ju I just don't get it why anybody puts up with this shit. At least I see the snow. I don't know when it got warm enough for the snow to melt. Good fucking God. So I get this uh, call from this friend of mine in Austin, Texas last night saying Hey, Moon. I have to just kind of on a just on a lark, she decides she's going to run off to Mazatlan for a week and was just saying, is there any chance that you can uh, be down here in two days and uh, house sit for me in Austin while I run down to Mazatlan? Uh, she sent me the 10-day weather forecast for Austin, Texas. I went... <laughs> I wish, I wish you could see the 10-day weather forecast for Austin, Texas in January. Uh, good God, looking like April. Uh, I mean, it, it's the most spectacular. I, I could be off in, well, I, I, I could have been in Austin, Texas a, a, a fucking month ago. Uh, it's what I should have been in fucking Austin, Texas. I mean, it is the most glorious weather forecast pretty much in the United States. Oh, boy. But as my mama used to say, when you do a favor for someone, you do it right. But, of course, that was her second favorite saying, her favorite saying being, no good deed goes unpunished. But at least it's giving me a chance to sit here and read my 250-page book, Peruvian Plunge, out loud, talking to myself and the 20 or 30 people on the planet following me. But anyway, guys, I just need to send this uh, little video out because I never know when I'm going to get my second strike uh, from the YouTube CopBots community guidelines, most likely on medical misinformation. You know, like I think other YouTubers, I think towards the end of 2022, we somewhat dropped our guard that the YouTube cop bots were backing off a little bit. Uh, but boy, were we wrong. Uh, starting January 1st, starting New Year's Day, uh, of course, I was thrown in, in the early morning hours of January, Sunday, January 1st, I was thrown in. Uh, YouTube jail uh, for medical misinformation, which was over a uh, which was over a video from a year and three months ago. A year and three months that video sat there, no problem. Yank down medical information, one strike in jail for a week. Now, interestingly, they have pulled down two more, uh, two more videos of mine uh, over medical misinformation, but have not given me a second and third strike. I mean, if they had given me strikes, my channel would be gone. So they, they gave me a strike on the first one, 
for medical misinformation and then they have pulled down two more which could have been strike two and strike three and Humpty Dumpty Tribe could have been history. Uh, I don't even know what the second one was they pulled down but the one they pulled down yesterday was a video from more than six years ago more than six years ago, three years before uh, anyone had ever heard of the corona panic. And I'm guessing, I am guessing that when I published the video uh, more than six years ago, there was no medical misinformation policy uh, existing at YouTube. You know what I'm saying? That it, 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 it didn't exist. The policy that my video was yanked down for, it was in no violation of that policy because the policy didn't exist. So now what YouTube is doing with people's channel is they're going back years and years and years combing through billions and billions uh, of YouTubes, you know, scraping up, uh, scraping up uh, any video uh, from years ago that not one person has seen in years and is yanking down videos for medical misinformation policy that did not exist when all of these people put their uh, YouTubes up. I'm just hearing reports of all kinds of channels uh, being thrown into YouTube jail. You know, Sandy, for God's sake, uh, Environmental Coffee House is sitting there in YouTube jail. Now, hers was not medical information. It was something, something like, was it hate speech uh, on her channel? And it wasn't even anything she said in her video. Well, she can tell you this. It was a goddamn link. Nothing she even had in her video. But I, I guess uh, in the description of the video, so she, she put a link to some website that the cop bots have decided uh, violates uh, YouTube's whatever it is policy. And simply because she put in a link to a website that the YouTube cop bots didn't like, there she is in YouTube jail. One strike against her. Two more strikes. Environmental coffee house is off the air. And uh, the, probably the scariest one of all is this uh, buddy of mine. I mean, I don't know why I'm not using his name. He probably wouldn't care. So he wakes up on uh, New Year's Day. January 1st, 2023, and turns on his cell phone, turns on his goddamn cell phone, and finds that his cell phone account has been yanked down for violating their community guidelines, that cell phone companies, that apparently he uh, texted somebody a link kind of like, you know, Sandy posted a link. So he texted somewhere along the way, he must have texted a link to a website that, uh, that his little fly-by-night cell phone company is. The one I used to have called Text Now. Text Now uh, was so offended uh, by this, that they yanked down his cell phone. So the, the, the dude has no cell phone number. Everybody that has that number for him has no way to call him now. Uh, all of his contacts with, you know, with other phone numbers, assumedly all of this shit, gone. And you are going to see this more and more and more 
uh, over the next few years and decades. This shit is right directly out of that uh, excellent novel by Dave Eggers uh, called The Every. This is exactly what is unfolding on this planet that anybody who, uh, you know, barely questions uh, the mainstream media, YouTube, cell phone, narrative, whatever, uh, if, if you send a link to somebody else that, uh, that these little politically correct, whatever, nar mainstream narrative uh, parroting uh, cop bots don't like, uh, you're going down. So <clears throat> I am actually amazed that Humpty Dumpty tribe is still surviving and uh, But I'm expecting it to go. It could go any day, any day. Next strike, I'll be down for two weeks. Strike three after that, the channel is gone. As I say, I've had three strikes in the past week, but fortunately, they just, for whatever reason, they decided not to give me strikes on two of the three of them. So anyway, what I will do, just letting you know now, that I am going to uh, start another channel. If, if, if I get shut down uh, by some old video uh, from before January 1st, 2023, if I do get shut down, I will be starting another YouTube channel called the Hambone Little Tail channel. Uh, now it's not, I, I'm just going to let uh, all of my thousands and thousands of videos on Humpty Dumpty Tribe go. I'm not backing up that channel. It's going to be gone, but I will be creating a new channel, surprisingly enough, called the Hambone Little Tail channel on YouTube, uh, but it will only start you know on, on January 1st 2023 I will I will only be posting uh, pretty much videos about Hambone Littletail and uh, I will keep for the few of you following my Peruvian plunge book uh, you will be able to find that over at uh, Hambone Littletail so anyway, you know where to find me if Humpty Dumpty Tribe disappears again. But uh, I got to pay attention to my driving. The temperature has dropped five degrees. It is now 27 degrees and uh, looks like the snow and sleet beginning again. So I need to go grab some groceries and uh, a bottle of tequila and hole up again. Look at this shit. 27 fucking degrees. Uh, I could be sitting in it is 79 degrees today in Austin, Texas. 79 degrees, bright sun, and here I sit. good deed goes unpunished get out there and uh, do a good deed for someone while you still can bye guys